So I wanted to follow up on my tips for entrepreneurs video with one simple tip that I think is very overlooked uh, for a lot of people starting a new business or maybe in the early stages of running their business and that's investing in your physical and mental health. Uh, I think a lot of people have the misconception that, oh, the financial or, um, you know, freedom and fun, uh, you know, time freedom they gain from running their own business, having their own hours will kind of take care of that itself. But that's just not not the truth. Um, the early years, I'd say, especially in that first five years, when you're really trying to kind of get off the ground and, and achieve maybe profitability or, you know, even beyond that, it's really about getting to a point where you can actually sustain a good salary and um, and then things like that. And it takes a lot of hard work to get to that point. And that's going to have a huge uh, mental and physical strain on your body. Um, things like, you know, dealing with firing people, worrying about cash flow, um, all these problems that like they kind of stick with you even after you leave the office. You can't, it's not like you just clock in at your job and you collect your paycheck and maybe get a raise every year and you obviously try and do well enough to not get fired or obviously if you want get a promotion and and kind of move up the ladder at a normal company it's 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 a lot more than that when you start running your own business you have to kind of like always be um with it because it, it kind of never ends and that that i think people kind of underestimate in terms of the physical and mental strain personally i i, I neglected just the simple basics of going to the gym and that took a big toll on me and i've kind of been coming out from that i've been really investing heavily in my physical and mental um, state. And I'm starting to see the benefits of that. I feel like I'm able to execute better at work and, and work longer and uh, work better without um, as many challenges. And, you know, I regret not having invested in that consistently um, when I started. I think if I had invested or just at least kept up with the basics when I started, um, you know, I wouldn't have had to work as hard as I do now or did in the past to get to where I am now. So, um, I highly recommend investing in some basic kind of routine what for, you know, exercise, eating healthy, um, maybe it's meditation for mental health or hanging out with friends or uh, just could be a therapist or a coach, uh, like business coach, whatever it is. So I highly re recommend investing in your physical and mental health um, from the get go. Uh, you know, obviously, if you're dealing with kind of cash flow issues and, and um, don't have a lot of money to invest in that, there's there's definitely ways to do that for um, a low cost. I mean, apps like Headspace are, are pretty cost effective. Um, I mean, honestly, you don't even need a gym membership to, to work out. You can go outside and run or uh, if the weather's not good, you know, do pushups at home. There's really no excuse. So um, that's my tip. And I think, uh, you know, from my experience of, of dealing with a lot of successful and seeing people that are have not been successful and have failed, I think there's a strong correlation with people that are um you know physically and mentally healthy um who are able to kind of sustain the longevity they required to build a successful business